Praise be Jesus and Mary. Every 17th of September, Franciscans commemorate the stigmata of St. Francis of Assisi because it's around this time of year that he received the stigmata from our Lord in the year 1224, two years before he died. So this year is actually the 800th anniversary of St. Francis receiving the stigmata. And St. Francis, uh, St. Francis was moved to pray for conformity to Christ his whole life. That was his greatest desire to be made like Christ. He prayed for this conformity and he got it in a special way. He got the stigmata and obviously that, that is conformity to Christ in visible fashion, extraordinary fashion, unique fashion. It doesn't ordinarily happen. It's not part of the spiritual life. It's not part of the path to holiness to get the stigmata. So it's unique but it nevertheless expresses his great conformity to our Lord. But when he got that conformity, he literally had holes, bleeding holes in his hands and in his feet and his side. And they would hurt when he used his hands, the stigmata would hurt. And when he walked, the stigmata hurt. And when they changed the bandages on his side, because the wounds kept bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. It hurt. It all hurt. The stigmata were painful. Maybe sometimes we imagine the stigmata or the sufferings of the saints as being actually fun and, and pleasant. No, the, the pain that you would feel if you had a hole in your hands that bled day and night, is this, that's the pain that St. Francis felt. So he prayed for conformity, got this conformity. It hurt. And even though it hurt, he still wanted it. That's really the, the, the key thought, the key concept I wanted to share this, mor this morning. He prayed for conformity. He got it. And even though it hurt, and a lot, he still wanted it. When, when he felt literally in his hands and feet inside what it was like to be crucified, St. Francis still wanted that. And that's what it means for us to fill up what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ. There's that passage in St. Paul. What does it mean? It means that Christ, who has a physical body and a mystical body, Christ must suffer in, in his head and in the members. The members must feel the sufferings of, of the head. And just as the head, our Lord himself, suffered voluntarily, he wanted to be crucified. Our Lord wanted to have his hands and side and feet pierced and to be nailed to the cross and to suffer and die for our salvation. And as the head suffered, so must the members voluntarily suffer receive whatever the sufferings might be, whatever that conformity might mean for us. For St. Francis, literally, it was the stigmata. But whatever the conformity means for us, we too, even when it hurts, even though it hurts, we have to still want it, embrace it, make it our own, fulfill what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ. What is lacking? That voluntary acceptance on the part of the members of the mystical body. And we should want this conformity. Christ wants to give it to us. And it'll hurt sometimes because our Lord was a suffering Savior. And even though it hurts, we should still want it. Because this is real love. And if we're afraid of the pain, well, as always, turn to Our Lady at the foot of the cross, even when conformity meant Pain and suffering, Our Lady was there. We should want conformity, it'll hurt. And even though it hurts, we should still want it. Praised be Jesus and Mary.